So I wanted to do a quick little video on my air compressor. Uh, I just recently rebuilt it because the piston, the ring, and the cylinder were just completely shot. So I took it completely apart, cleaned it all up, <clears throat> put everything all back together, and it works great now. The other thing I added was this. And what this is is an A-coil from an air conditioner. A friend of mine had his replaced, asked me if I wanted it, and of course I said yes. Why would I give something away or throw something, throw something away, you know, that's worth using? Um, anyway, so I made this into a air cooler, which is also a condenser or an air dryer. And it's real simple to do. I'm not going to go into the details of everything that I had to do, but I had parts laying around. So I had an old air filter. I had um, a couple of these fittings. I have the air fittings. I had hose. But what I did was I just plumbed it. I went to the store and I got a couple uh, copper fittings. That was about it. I think these two were the only ones I bought. So anyway, I, I went and I plumbed this up so that it feeds air into the top through these tubes. The tubes then go through the cooling fins and then they all come out on the bottom. And I put a little, let me see if I can open this. I put a little drain valve on the bottom here. It's actually a toilet valve. Um, it's actually cheaper, but it's only for draining water. And then I have that just shooting to the side. If I want to stick it outside, I can do that. Um, I also put one on the bottom of the tank too, put a new new hose and valve. Um, so anyway, the air comes through the whole unit and then it gets cooled and then it comes out through these tubes going up here into a separator, a little water separator. And then that goes out to my, my uh, reel up there, which then I use in the garage. And when I use it, all I gotta do is turn on this fan on the top, which sucks the air through the unit. But what that does is it just sucks air in through the sides. It blows the air through the top and gets rid of the heat. So basically it just takes all the moisture out of the air and I have dry air. So now I could actually get to work on spray painting and using some of my air tools because I didn't want to use it with, you know, all the water that's in the system. I also picked up this fan at the store too, so that I can use that to draw the air through the sides and then up through the top of the unit. Now you got to do is turn it on when you're ready to use it. And that sucks in the air and it cools down the unit. So if you know anybody that's getting rid of one of these A coils, um, I pressure tested this thing. I bubbled it, you know, put bubble soap all over the whole thing and nothing leaked anywhere. So I didn't have to do any repairs. So. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I know it was short, but thanks for stopping by anyway. See you later.